Now let's solve this question. This is gate electronics 2014 question. The question is asking the number of bytes required to represent decimal number. This decimal number is given to you. In packed BCD, binary coded decimal. Okay, so basically this decimal number we have to represent in BCD, in packed BCD. Okay, and then we have to find what the number of bytes that is required. Okay, very simple question. First of all, let me tell you that what is this packed BCD? What is this packed BCD? Okay, and what is unpacked BCD? See, we have already seen what is BCD, binary coded decimal. BCD means binary coded decimal. Binary coded decimal. Okay, this we already know. Okay, in this binary coded decimal, what happens? Every decimal digit we we encode using a pattern of four bits, using a binary pattern of four bits. Yes or no? Okay, every decimal digit. For example, what I'm doing, I'm putting decimal here and I'm putting the BCD form. I'm putting the BCD form. See, in this BCD, what we do, let me tell you, in this BCD, binary coded decimal, the name itself is telling you, the name is telling you binary coded decimal means every decimal digit we encode in the form of binary. Okay, we encode in the form of binary, every decimal digit. For example, these are the decimal digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, then you have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so every binary digit, what we do? We encode, use, uh, every decimal digit, we encode using binary. Okay, so what we do? We use 4 bits. What we do? We use 4 bits, remember? So this 0 will be encoded like this. The 0, this 0 will be encoded like this using 4 bits. This one will be encoded like this using four bits. Two will be encoded like this using four bits. Okay, three will be encoded like this using four bits. Four will be encoded like this using four bits. Okay, five will be encoded like this. Then six will be encoded like this. Okay, then seven will be encoded like this. Eight will be one triple zero and nine will be one zero zero one. Okay, so this is your BCD, right? Yes or no? This we already know. Okay, we have already seen this. You already know this that in this BCD, what we do every decimal digit we encode using binary. Okay, so this is the form I can say for this decimal digit. This is the BCD form. Okay, for this decimal digit, this is the BCD form. Now, what is this packed BCD and unpacked BCD? Okay, what is this point means in this BCD? There are two types of things. One is packed BCD. One is packed BCD and another is unpacked BCD. Another is unpacked BCD. Okay, what is packed BCD? What is unpacked BCD? Let me tell you, this is basically they are same. The only difference is the number of bits that you are using. In this packed BCD, we use four bits. Okay, basically in this packed BCD, what we do? We use four bits to encode a decimal digit. To encode a decimal digit. Is this clear? Okay, what we do in this packed BCD? we use four bits to encode a decimal digit and in this unpacked bcd we use eight bits to encode a decimal digit a decimal digit this is the only difference nothing else this is the only difference okay in this packed bcd we use four bits in unpacked bcd we use eight bits so tell me by default bcd means what by default here you can notice we are using four bits here you can notice in the bcd we are using four bits we are using four bits. So by default, this BCD means packed BCD. Yes or no? By default, by default, okay, by default, by default, this BCD, if I simply say BCD, that means packed BCD. That means packed BCD. And what we do? We use four bits. By default, basically BCD means packed BCD. And what we do in, in, in these, what we do? We use four bits to encode a decimal digit. How many bits? We use four bits to encode a decimal digit. To encode a decimal digit. Okay. So very simple point. Remember, this is the only difference. How many bits you are using? This is the only difference. There is no other difference. There is no other difference. So, so in this unpacked BCD, what will happen? Let me tell you. In this unpacked BCD, what will happen? See, if you have this decimal digit. On one side, I am giving you decimal digit. Okay, in packed BCD, what will happen? In packed BCD, by default, BCD means packed BCD. By default, BCD means packed BCD. And in this unpacked BCD, what will happen? 
in this unpacked bcd what will happen let's see unpacked bcd so remember bcd means packed bcd okay so if your decimal digit is zero here in this bcd we will use four four bits in this unpacked bcd we will use eight bits okay very simple so this is the idea if your decimal digit is this then in this packed bcd we use four bits in this unpacked bcd we use eight bits okay very simple if you have this decimal digit in the packed bcd it will be 0010 in the unpacked bcd this will be 0000010 okay is this clear this decimal digit in the packed bcd it will be 0011 in the unpacked bcd we use 8 bits okay we use 8 bits in this packed bcd we use 4 bits in this unpacked bcd what we do we use 8 bits okay is this clear please tell me and so on for example if i have 8 then for this 8 in the packed bcd we have 1000 in this unpacked bcd we have we use 4 we, we use 8 bits okay similarly 9 in this packed bcd we have this this representation in this unpacked bcd we use 8 bits okay so like this is this clear to everyone okay so the only difference is how many bits you are using the only difference that is how many bits you are using okay now i want to ask you something okay see i want to ask you something here you use four bits here you are using four bits per decimal digit per decimal digit per decimal digit okay for one decimal digit you are using four bits and here you are using eight bits here you are using eight bits per decimal digit per decimal digit now you tell me one thing okay you look at this table and tell me are you thinking that this in this unpacked bcd a lot of wastage is happening see in this unpacked bcd these are just zero 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 tell me can you can you notice a lot of wastage is happening please tell me is there anyone who is thinking that a lot of wastage is happening like these four bits these are wasted waste okay see these are waste yes or no so why like why this unpacked bcd exist what is the benefit why this concept exist is there any benefit can anyone tell me is there any single benefit give me a single benefit of unpacked bcd give me one benefit of using eight bits instead of using four bits see i am asking in this unpacked bcd we are using eight bits in this packed bcd we are using four bits okay now you might be thinking you might be thinking that in this unpacked bcd a lot of space is wasted like these four bits these are wasted these bits are wasted okay these are always zero 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 so these are wasted so what is the benefit in this unpacked bcd if you use eight bits basically if you use eight bits per digit then what is the benefit is there any benefit of unpacked bcd the answer is yes yes there is benefit yes there is benefit and what is that see what are the benefit of what are the benefit of i can say unpacked bcd unpacked bcd is there any benefit of unpacked bcd is there any benefit of unpacked bcd the answer is yes because if you notice in our memory in your computer your memory is byte addressable okay see okay if this is your main memory let me tell you your main memory is like this this is your main memory in your ram okay you call it ram right in your computer your ram your main memory let me tell you this ram is actually this is divided into bytes okay this is divided into bytes means okay basically this is byte addressable means one byte this is one byte okay here you have one byte here you have one byte and this byte has some address okay this byte has address means every byte has address are you getting my point okay this is the first byte let's call it zero this is the second byte this is the third byte this is the fourth byte so every byte has address okay is this clear okay so you can see every byte has address every byte this byte has address this byte has address this byte has address okay now what the benefit of unpacked bcd the benefit is like this in in this unpacked bcd what we do if you want to store for example let's assume you want to store this eight if you want to store this eight then what you will do in this unpacked bcd this eight will take the complete byte okay this eight will take the complete byte are you getting my point is this clear okay if you want to store eight then this will take the complete byte this complete byte it will take okay now now if you want to read this 
basically if you want to access this memory location this memory location if i access because as i told you every every byte has address okay every byte has address remember means this byte has address so if you want to access this much can you access please tell me i just want to ask you can you access this only this much only this much can you access your cpu okay this is your cpu if you want to access can you access this this part can you access this part tell me can you access this part no you cannot access because every byte has address okay remember every byte has address so when you access when you access this complete byte will go okay so it is very easy if you if you use this entire this entire byte is used to store eight okay then it is very easy what you can do you can just see and you can just read that okay it is eight but in this packed bcd what will happen in this packed bcd what will happen okay what will happen in this packed bcd in packed bcd in this packed bcd this will happen that if you have eight you can store this eight like for example one triple zero you can store okay you can store this one triple zero for example maybe you can store one triple zero okay now here what to store for example you can store four okay for example you can store four you can store four now are you getting my point are you getting my point now if you access this entire byte will go if you access this entire byte will go this entire byte will go if you access now what you have to do you have to do some extra work you have to do some extra work here inside the cpu in the cpu some extra some extra logic you have to put some extra decoding you have to do some extra decoding you have to do basically you have to do this extra decoding that this is four this is eight okay in this packed bcd in this packed bcd you have to do some extra decoding that this is four this is eight okay in this unpacked bcd no extra decoding this complete thing is eight okay this complete thing is eight but in this in this packed bcd you have to do some extra decoding that this is basically four comma eight okay so i hope you understood so this is a small point i hope you got it so finally i am saying that bcd there are two type of bcd form okay one is one is packed bcd another is unpacked bcd the only difference is how many bits you are using packed bcd we use four bits per decimal digit in this unpacked bcd we use eight bits per decimal digit this is the only difference there is no other difference you can see these are the decimal digits in packed bcd this is the encoding and in unpacked bcd this is the encoding okay so very simple so this is just a simple point okay nothing fancy nothing difficult so i hope you understood this point okay now let's solve this question now let's solve this question the question is saying this is the decimal number okay the question is saying this decimal number is given to you one eight five six three five seven five six three five seven this decimal number is given to you now the number of bytes that are required to represent the decimal number this decimal number in packed bcd how many bytes you need tell me how many bytes you need the question is asking how many bytes you need how many bytes you need this is what the question is asking so tell me in this packed bcd this is your decimal number this is the decimal number in packed bcd what will happen in this packed bcd for every decimal digit there are four bits so you can see there are how many how many digits are there here there are total seven digits right yes or no how many total seven digits so tell me in this packed bcd how many bits are required first you tell me the bits how many bits will be required so total 28 bits will be required okay yes or no seven digits for every digit there are four bits so that will be 28 bits yes or no 28 bits are required now you tell me 28 bits you need you need 28 bits so tell me how many bytes you need how many bytes you need for 28 bits how many bytes you need tell me how many bytes you need for 28 bits how many bytes you need so you need total 5 yes or no because 28 divided by 8 you have to take the seal value okay you have to take the seal value so that will be what tell me that will be what so if you do this sorry that that will be 4 that will be 4 so 4 bytes you need okay how many 4 bytes you need because remember one thing remember one thing if you take three bytes with three bytes okay if you take three bytes how many bits you can represent with the three bytes with the three bytes how many bits you can represent 
only 24 bits you can represent yes only yes or no only 24 bits can be represented can be represented correct only 24 bits can be represented okay but we want to represent 28 bits so if you want to represent 28 bits you need four bytes okay how many you need four bytes very simple okay so this is your number one eight five six five six three five seven this is your number three five seven okay so in this packed bcd what you will get let me tell you in this packed bcd in this packed bcd how will you store this so very simple this seven you will store as zero one 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 this is your seven okay this five what this five will become this will become zero one zero one okay what this three will become this will become zero zero one one okay what this six will become this will become zero one one zero what this five will become this five will become zero one zero one what this eight will become eight will become one triple zero and what this one will become one will become zero 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 one okay so this is the point okay so remember this number in packed bcd this will be like this okay very simple so now these are your okay in bytes if you see how many bytes you need in bytes if you if you want to store this in bytes then four bytes you need okay total four bytes you need so very simple for this question the answer will be four the answer will be four okay very simple so this is your answer uh...